up Rich Squad guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the one and only Dominic Rich and if you're new make sure you hit the subscribe button. In this video, I'll be covering the group B fixture Iran versus Portugal. Like guys, this is a big one. This is a big one. Iran has a chance to make it to the round of 16 for the first time with a win or even with a draw. You know, even with a job. But I'll get to the permutations just now. Let's recap what has happened so far in Group B at the 2018 World Cup. Well, as you should know, Group B consists of Portugal, Spain, Morocco, and Iran. And for Iran, they defeated Morocco one goal to nil in their first match. In their second match, they lost narrowly to Spain by a one goal to nil scoreline as well. As for Portugal, they played to a 3-3 draw with Spain. That was a really, really exciting match, right guys? And in their second match, they defeated Morocco to send them packing one goal to nil. After those four Group B matches, Portugal sit on top of the table with 4 points, a plus 1 goal difference, Spain 2nd, 4 points, plus 1 goal difference, Iran 3rd, 3 points with a goal difference of 0, and Morocco last, 0 points with a goal difference of minus 2. What were my actual 2018 World Cup predictions for Group B? Well, I predicted Spain to top the group. Portugal to come in second, Morocco to come in third, and Iran to place last. But right now, Iran is actually looking to disrupt my predictions. They can still come last, but they can also still top the group. Permutations, permutations, guys. Let's get into some permutations. What does both Iran and Portugal need to do to make it to the round of 16? Spain is also still in contention to qualify for the round of 16 also. A win will surely do it for Portugal, but they can also qualify with a draw. They are also not out with a loss. But if they lose, they would need Morocco to defeat Spain by a very big margin. For Iran, they need to win this match. If they draw and get one point and go level with Spain, they would need Morocco to now defeat Spain by a big margin so that they can get a better goal difference than Spain. Iran, they are actually out with a loss. So, losing is no option. With all that said, Morocco are the only Group B team that have already been knocked out. So now let the battle begin. Iran or Team Meli, potential Group B Dark Horses versus the Navigators of Portugal. One of the favorites to win the 2018 World Cup. A team powered by an engine called Cristiano Ronaldo. Iran has never advanced past the group phase of a World Cup. And for Portugal, they're looking to continue what they did at Euro 16 when they lifted the trophy. And they would also want to avoid what happened at the 2014 World Cup when they crashed out early in the group phase head to head how many times have iran and portugal played each other they have met on two previous occasions with portugal winning both matches well they also met at the 2006 world cup when portugal defeated them two goals to nil and guess who scored one of his world cup goals in that match cristiano ronaldo iran will be looking to create history and defeat portugal 2018 World Cup form so far. In two matches, Iran has one win and one loss. Their defense has been A-plus so far in the tournament. They have only conceded a single scrappy goal versus Spain. Like, they have been really good. 180 minutes, one goal, A-plus. Well, as for their midfield, well, these guys have been busy helping out in defense and haven't been doing much creation to get their forwards on the score sheet. Iran will definitely have to change their game plan because I think shutting up shop parking the bus playing for a draw will not be enough for team Melly. they must go for a win but at the same time they must keep their shape well for portugal they have one draw and one win they have scored four goals and all those goals have been scored by guess who Cristiano Ronaldo. But on a positive note, they are getting results. Unlike Messi's Argentina, who haven't been doing so well at the 2018 World Cup, Portugal has to continue playing to their strengths. And that strength is Cristiano Ronaldo. Get him involved, give the ball to him, and he will deliver. Who are the players to watch for Portugal and Iran? Well, for Iran, their defense. They have to continue to play as a unit because that unity has kept them alive at this tournament up until now. Also, their goalkeeper, Ali Reza, Beran Van, he will have a very, very busy day at the office, so he has to stay switched on. Three players to watch for Iran as well, Jahanbash, Taremi, and Azmoun. If they are to score any goals, these players will be involved. They have to stay switched on for when Iran wants to counter. 
Well, for Portugal, their forwards, Cristiano Ronaldo, Bernardo Silva, Guedes if he features, Andre Silva if he features, and their playmakers in the midfield, João Martinho, João Mario, and their pivot, William Carvalho. All in all, I expect a similar game to the Iran versus Spain fixture. Portugal's defense need to stay switched on. I see you, Pepe. I see you, Jose Font. And I truly think if Portugal is to make an impact on this match, their fullbacks, Guerrero and Suarez, will be the ones involved. What are some of the changes the head coaches can make coming into this big fixture? Well, for Iran, Carlos Quiroz will be facing his old team. He used to be the manager of Portugal back in the 90s. And this would be an emotional match for him. But get your emotions out the way. You need to win this match for Iran. You need to win this match for Iran or even draw it. So if you don't qualify for the round of 16, you will still walk off into the sunset a happy man. Carlos Quiroz need to execute his plans and to execute his tactics right versus Portugal. This is the only way Iran is gonna get a result in this match. He might actually choose to go in with an unchanged 11 from the one that faced Spain unless he is forced to make a change because of an injury or suspension. But, but all in all, any change will be like for like. For Portugal, Fernando Santos may choose to bring in Andre Silva for the very ineffective Gonzalo Guedes. He, like, he haven't been good at all, in my opinion, so far. Maybe I'm being hard on the youngster, but we need goals. We need goals from you, that's why you're in the team. But with all that said, I think Fernando Santos won't make more than two changes in this match. Gonzalo Guedes out, Andre Silva in, in my opinion. So guys, what's my prediction for the Iran versus Portugal fixture? Oh man, Iran. Like, how are they going to approach this? We're expecting them to part the bus again like they did versus Spain. But who knows, who knows, they might come out and play more attacking, you know? And if they do, they will be left more open and Portugal will definitely score. Remember, they have Cristiano Ronaldo in their ranks. I don't think Portugal will score more than two goals in this match. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 win for Portugal. But it can actually go any way. It can actually end in a draw. We have seen some magnificent things happen at the 2018 World Cup so far. So an Iran win or a draw is not off the table at all. But I'm going for a Portugal win. And Iran, if you lose, keep your head up. You have done really, really well at the 2018 World Cup. So guys, what's your prediction for the Iran versus Portugal fixture? Let me know in the comment section down below. So guys, now for question of the day. Question of the day. Do you guys think that we will see a ninth World Cup winner at the end of the 2018 World Cup? And if so, who would it be? Let me know your answer down below. Well, I'm going to answer that question. If we're going to get a ninth winner, it's going to be Belgium, the team I'm actually rooting for. So guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And until next time, peace out. Rich Squad!